I'd love to know what is unique about the diamond approach. One important thing about the diamond approach is that it does not separate working with the psychology from working with the spirituality. It does not make them into two distinct categories, see them as completely intertwined and inseparable. So by understanding our psychology, we are bound to understand our spirituality and vice versa. In that sense, the diamond approach is sort of unique that way, and not only it uses the psychology of the spirituality in a seamless way, it uses contemporary psychology, uh, contemporary Western psychology as it has developed in a century or so in different parts of it. So in that sense, it is accessible to our psychological climate because our psychology is the product of our time. Just like in the past, many spiritual teachings had psychology, but it was a product of their time. But also they didn't consider it as important. Most teachings didn't consider it as important as uh, spiritual work and the thought of spiritual work as something uh, transcends the psychological. For me, the way I understand reality is that's all the consciousness, it's all the mind, the product of the same consciousness and the same mind. Psychology is just the dynamics and the mechanics of how our emotions and thoughts work. Spirituality is just the, means the basis or the ground or the qualia of the consciousness that is the ground of all these mental or psychological operations. So they're really inseparable. So that's why, because of that, the diamond approach then has a way for somebody to connect to inner practice by looking at any of their experiences in the moment. There isn't a need to focus on something in particular and to try to accomplish a certain state.